What's up, guys? So I wanted to do a quick, comprehensive look at Array, Curve, Radial, and Mirror. So these are under where you'd have your shapes. So I'm just going to add a sphere. And if you notice, uh, you also have, when you go to Add, you have your primitives here, group camera, and you have repeaters. So I'm just going to go over the repeaters as I know them. I'm still kind of learning them, but... Uh, let's see what we can work out. So firstly, we have, let's hit Add and let's hit Array. So if you notice, I already had the shape here before I hit Array because if I take it away and I do Array first, uh, you still have to add a shape there. So we'll do Add, Sphere, and see it goes away. So then it's just, a, so when I do it, I usually just have to have the shape already. And then I go to Add and then I go to Array. And now you see there's two of them here. And uh, to make it easier, see how it says count X, offset X, and they're red? So that's how you can know which direction it's going to repeat. So a repeater, so all of those things are is if you wanna make uh, numerous of the same sort of things, it's good for like patterns, let's say bricks, or like a necklace, things like that. So that's what a repeater is for. Uh, as you see, the count X is two, so red is two. Now you can take it and you can slide it, and you get more. So see here, let's, let's do like five. So we have five of them. So the count is five. So that, that's all that is. Uh, you can move it around so you can kind of see it. So that's all that is, pretty simple. The offset is the space in between. See, that's the offset. Okay, and it's the same thing with the green and the blue. It does the same thing, so if we were to go to the green, whoops, go to the green and go like this, it just makes them up. And let's say we want the offset a little bit more, something like that. And same thing with the blue, it just comes like kind of towards us. You can change the offset. You can make it all really tight, compact. So that is array. So if we tap on that, we can just go to curve Curve is the same thing if we had our regular sphere here. And then we go here and we go add and we go curve. Let's just get rid of this. Take this sphere and just put it right under curve. And we can delete this repeat. So now we just have curve. But I'll just do it from the beginning just so if it, unless it's confusing. Uh, I'll just add the shape. So I added the sphere. And then I'll do add again and then I'll go to Curve. See now it's attached with this little connector. All right, so what Curve is, is like, let's say you were making a character and you wanted them to make like a pearl necklace or like those wooden like balls that are like the Japanese style necklaces or something like that. So, let's see. So see this, this is just like when you make a, uh, when you use the tube tool, it's sort of the same as the tube tool. So let's say we wanted to make a necklace. We can drag that out and we can add points. So if we were making a necklace around like a character's neck. So something like that. And so we made this curve here. Let's just straighten this out. We'll, we'll get rid of it. There we go. So that's kind of our necklace. So you make like the bones. And right now the count is at two. So we just have to slide this number up until we get what we want. So maybe something like that. And then you have your necklace. So that's what curve is. So he just makes, it repeats the shape, but on a curve. 
pretty cool. You can make a caterpillar or something like that. It'd be really easy. So a lot easier uh, to make necklaces and things like that or whatever you need to make. Let's make them, stretch them out. Okay, so that is curve. You can validate. The only difference is when you validate it, I think it takes, I think it, it creates each of these shapes. So that's the only thing when you validate it, I think it, it becomes the larger size. So I'm a little, I'm still a little iffy on those, on that type of, that type of stuff. Uh, but I'm pretty sure because it has the size here, it's at 6,146, but then in parentheses, it says like 92.1K, which is much bigger. So I think that's what all these all these shapes would be. So I don't know, maybe you just don't validate it. Like, I'm not really sure. But either way, it's, it's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm just going to delete this. And we'll start from the beginning. We'll add a shape. I guess that's the... I guess that's the center. Okay, so we added our shape, and now we're going to add, and we're going to do radial. Uh, radial is really fun, good for, like, pumpkins, um, good for, like, flowers, things like that. So uh, we have our radial chosen. Now, radial is a bit tricky. It took me a while to sort of figure out what was going on. You can see here it already says 4. The important thing about radial is you want to you want to be on radial like you don't want to be on sphere you want to be on radial that's where you set all of these options so uh right now radial is on 4 let's make it let's make it 5 and you see there's like a circle with like um you know all these little nodes on it so you might get confused if you start trying to mess with it now because you can't do anything with it. So you have to go back here and go to the sphere. So you can't be on radial, you have to be on the sphere. So now you can just pull it away and then that's your five. That's the sphere repeating. So that'll be cool. Like if you wanna make like flowers or something like that, you can add another sphere in the middle. You know, you can do all sorts of cool things. If you wanna do a pumpkin, I think I'm gonna do a class with like some cool jack-o'-lanterns, so that'll be fine. Um, and if you decide you need more, you can just go back to radial. Let's see, you want six instead of five or seven. Then you can do that. And you can also, you can tap one of these. And let's see, I can't go to my... I did it at one point in time. Let me just double check. Can I go to radial? I was able to use one of the tools, but I'm not exactly sure how I was able to do it. I don't think I validated it yet. Well, let's see, let's validate. So the radial is not validated, but the sphere is. So let's see if I use move. Yeah, if I use move, it'll move. It'll do it for everything. So you can make some really cool some really cool shapes. You know, like that would be actually good for like a, I made like a dumpling. Kind of want to twirl the top a little bit. So you can make some really cool things, you know, with it. It's kind of fun. So that is, uh, what is that? That was um, radial. And just for fun, let's add another circle. So we'll add another circle. Actually, you know what we can do? No, let's add another, wait, what happened to my, there we go. Let's add a sphere. Let's take it off of here. See, I'm going to disconnect it. And then I'm going to say add again, and I'm going to do radial again. So now we have this second one here. And I'll do five. I'm going to go down to the sphere, and then I'm going to bring them out, bring them down, and do something like this. 
and you can kind of see how you can make really, really cool shapes that uh, very easily. And I'm looking forward to having a lot of fun with this, coloring this, make these, making these into little monsters and things like that. I'm really looking forward to that. I can go ahead and validate. Validate all these. If you like your shapes, you can validate them. You can take them and voxel merge them. I usually do about 200. Voxel merge and then smooth it out. You know, then you have just like one piece. You know, it looks like a like a sea sea creature or something like that. So you can make really cool stuff like that. So let's delete this. Let's add a new sphere. Same as usual. We'll go add again and we'll do mirror. Uh, mirror is our basic mirror like we have been using uh, all the time. Uh, but just remember, the, the way to kind of make it easier, uh, we have the red arrow, the blue arrow, and the green arrow. So this is the X. So if we want to if we want to tap on the X and we want to mirror it, let's see if it mirrors. So we'll go to our sphere like we did before, and then we can pull it apart. And that's our mirror there. So let's go back to the mirror. Let's hit Y. So that means it's going to go up. So let's go back to the sphere. And now we can mirror it up. Okay, let's go back to mirror. Let's go to the blue which is front and back. And we'll do the same thing. We'll go to the sphere and then we'll make four. So something like that. Now you can just use these and you can now like pull them together. You know, now that we, if you have the four circles, then you're good. So you can validate. Let's see what drag does. Drag drags them all. So you can make really interesting things that you might want to make. Let's see if we want to squeeze them together or something like that. So you can make really cool shapes. And let's go ahead and take the mirror or validate it. So now we have this kind of interesting shape. And I'll go ahead and voxel remesh it together. If I was going to, you know, make a character, or have this be part of a character or something like that. And I'll smooth it out. You know, and then I would just keep going, whatever I needed to, whatever I needed to make. Um, and also, don't forget that if you, say you wanted to make a necklace out of this. So now that you have this shape, you can go back to... Uh, let's say radial. So now you have this situation. So we'll go here, go to our mirror. We can pull that apart, kind of like a kaleidoscope. So you can make really interesting things. How cool is that? So you can make you can make really really awesome things. So let's validate this because it's pretty cool. And now let's use the repeater or let's use the uh, array. So we'll tap array and let's make couple of them. Let's go back to where... Oh, we're going to use the top. That's okay. So let's change the offset so we can see them all. Okay, we can only use... Okay, we only have two right now. So let's say we wanted three or four or five. And then blue would be down. So if I wanted more down, see how they're touching? So I have to change the offset until I can see them all like that. Right, and there you have, I mean, that's a pretty decent, hopefully that helps. 
Uh, it took me a while to sort of figure out how to use everything. But as you can see, there's a lot of different options now that we have these repeaters. Uh, very, very cool. And when you need them, I think they're going to come in handy. Uh, but yeah, hopefully that was cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what else you'd like to see. I'll probably do something about subsurface scatter and things like that as well. All right, stay tuned. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. See you all in the next video. What's up guys, Drug Free Dave here, and today we're going to be 3D modeling a cat in Nomad Sculpt. I'm going to be using the iPad Pro, but Nomad Sculpt is also available on Android, so just make sure that you can use it before you take this class. Also, if you're brand new to 3D, if this is your first 3D class, if you want to learn 3D in Nomad Sculpt, definitely go and check out my 3D for Beginners class here on Skillshare. I go over all the basics, the tools, the lingo. I don't know all the lingo, but most of the lingo. So in this class, we're gonna start out from the very beginning, from a sphere, I'm gonna show you how I plan everything out, block everything out, merging everything together, just turning it into a nice, clean sculpt. This is part of a bigger scene, and in a later class, I'm gonna make the pumpkins and the backgrounds and things like that. For this class, we're just gonna focus on the cat, and then we're gonna do some really fun painting. I'm gonna show you a few examples of how I painted the cat, but that's the best part of making a really cool sculpt is that you can paint it, you can play with the lights, you can really go crazy and have a lot of fun with it. That's what I want you to get out of this class. But the key is you have to have a nice, smooth 3D model. Once you have a good model, then your work is gonna look great. All right, so let's get on to the next video, the class project.